Hey, how you doing? Emmett Dempsey, mortgage broker and owner of Treasure Coast Mortgage here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about the closing disclosure or the settlement statement or the CD as it's called. Um, this is a twin to the loan estimate video here that I just redid. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Uh, the closing disclosure um, is great because you're at the end of the loan process. You're almost done. It's awesome. So you guys are almost done. Hoorah. And uh, now you're about ready to close. So, so what we do with the closing disclosure, I'm going to go over the, uh, the details here in a minute. Uh, about what the CD is and, and what some changes, some differences that you'll see in the CD versus the loan estimate. But uh, effectively, the LE and CD are kind of twins. Uh, they kind of go together. The loan estimate, so it's, here's what I estimated they would be. And the closing disclosure is basically what they are at the end. Um, and we're going to go over the uh, the TRID rule or Tiller Respa Integrated Disclosure rule about what that means and uh, the three day rule and all that different stuff. But uh, in the meantime, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on this video. It definitely helps more people like you find videos like this and help them out on their home buying journey. I really appreciate that. And go ahead and leave a comment. You know, go ahead and see what, what you're seeing in our CDs, uh, what, what you're seeing in disclosures and all that stuff. I want to hear you know, from people out there all over the country. Okay, here's a closing disclosure, um, or CD for short. Basically, it's your settlement statement. Kind of goes, goes over everything. And uh, you just match your file number, which is usually you know, for the title company, your property address, sales price. You know, Usually, that'll match the contract, depending on what the appraisal came in at, and the loan amount as well, and if you decided to change it or not. Okay, your interest rate you know, should have been locked. If you, ch you check it against your locked loan estimate, which is the only thing that matters uh, when it comes to loan estimates, You know, just check it against your lock, make sure it's, it's good. Uh, your, your prepayment penalty in this scenario with a, with a sample client, there is one, you know, to, uh, make sure uh, you discuss it with, with me or your loan officer that you have a prepayment penalty. And again, here with your uh, principal and interest payments, your mortgage insurance, yeah, all these are, are final. The loan estimate had estimates based on what they might be. This has been through an underwriting process. You're either a clear to close or almost clear to close. Um, a lender will not going to issue a, your CD. Um, until uh, you know three days before closing, so you know there's a three-day rule that you you have to have a consummation period uh, you know, before you can uh, get your closing disclosure, or you, you can what's called consummate the loan. That's the, that's that's their term, not mine. So, for instance, if you want to close on a Friday, you have to have your CD, your initial CD, signed by a Tuesday. Now, a lot of my lenders will allow what's called an early CD as long as they have the uh, the appraised value, your insurance, and all a lot of these variables kind of taken care of. You know, you don't have to be clear to close. Uh, and that's what usually happens. We get the CD out as fast as we can. So we expire that three day rule. It just helps you to be able to, to move quickly. Okay. So that's kind of how that works. And then here's again, it's your, it's your, it's your final, final figures, your property taxes, homeowners insurance, all the things, and then the cash to close. So you just compare that uh, to what you see. Now, a lot of times this cash to close for the initial CD will be higher than at the end because you know, there's the initial CD it with the intent is to get it out. A lot of times the, the numbers won't be balanced and I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, so just got to keep that in mind, but ultimately the CD you, that you sign at closing will have everything uh, balanced and, and finalized. Okay. And here's those boxes again, you know, they match up to what the loan estimate had, you know, you know, box a, you know, measure based on, on what was disclosed. Again, that's what I, as, as a mortgage professional uh, can, can check and you can see it now here on the appraisal fee you can see this before closing are called a paid outside of closing the loan estimate is usually artificially high because they they have a lot of these outside of outside fees um, that are paid um you know outside of closing so you make sure settlement charges artificially higher because you're, you're gonna pay them on a credit card usually uh, before closing uh and same thing here you just compare to what was disclosed and to what you have at the end um that you have here, your recording fees, transfer taxes. Again, you know, Florida had, does have transfer taxes uh, that are required. And here's your homeowner's insurance uh, policy. Um, you know, so it's required the first 12 months. And then you have any kind of, you know, property taxes in, in, in Florida are due in November. So sometimes you have to pay your property taxes and then you'll get it reimbursed by the seller based on the amount of time that, that they owned it. And then here in other, you can see there's a lot more other. Well, this happens a lot with HOAs. So you have the, you know, the HOA uh, they need to catch you up to make sure that uh, you know, your HOA dues are current, you know, et cetera. So again, you just compare that and contrast to the loan estimate, because you know, uh, we've already been through a complete title underwrite, mortgage underwrite, so all the fees are finalized. You know, and then it kind of adds up your closing costs you know, total based on what's paid outside of closing, you know, your credit report fee, 
um, here. And again, this right here is a calculated cash to close. And it, it gives you a convenient comparison of what was disclosed on your loan estimate uh, versus what's done on, on, you know, finally. So on this one, we disclosed 16,054. If you go back to the loan estimate video on this one, it's less. And then usually, you know, it, it becomes less because I always over disclose on the loan estimate. You know, some, some lenders want to, you know, lowball fees to, to, to compete. I don't do that. I'd rather overestimate and then surprise you in the positive on the end. Uh, and do it that way. So, and then, and this one is a summary of transaction. This is usually how they balance here. This uh, adjustments for items paid by seller in advance. Uh, and that's like the HOA dues. Basically, I know in Florida, like for instance, if, if taxes are due in November, and like say you buy the house in June. So from June 1st to, to June, the seller lived in that house. So they, they're going to pay you, um, you know, the uh, what's called a tax proration because because you're going to pay the, for the full 12 months but you didn't live there for 12 months so you're going to get a, a credit from the seller you know there's certain depends on how how did they roll so you from one one to four to 13 you know so that this is how that works there so that's how they kind of reconcile all the all of the deposits and the credits and etc on this page here on page 305 you know um and then here you know, the loan disclosures you know, uh, the late payment negative amortization, uh, anything that that's that's done about the loan, uh, negam loans. I don't even know why they have that paragraph on there because that's pretty much dead. Um, I've never, I haven't seen one since 2007. Um, but again, you know, there's bureaucrats who design this form. So, um, so that, that's kind of it in a nutshell about the closing disclosure. Okay, welcome back. Hope that was an informative look at the closing disclosure. Uh, congratulations again if you're buying a house. If you know any friends, family, coworkers looking to uh, buy, sell, refinance, definitely give them my information. I'd love to help them out too. Uh, this is the video that YouTube wants you to watch next. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.